This is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the Thomas Nelson King James Giant Print Center Column Reference Bible in the Premier Collection. Currently this is the only King James they have in the Premier Collection. This is the double column edition, single, center column reference. They don't have a, a, a single column. I would like them to make me a single column. I'll show you in a little bit what I want from them. But uh, yeah, this comes in a nice sturdy box just like all the others. Just like everything else from the Premier Collection. Really elegant, really nice. And it is wrapped with this nice little paper. With this elegant little seal here. Looks really nice. I like this. Looks and feels elegant before you even get to the Bible. And speaking of the Bible, it is goat skin. Just like all the others. But now, this one actually seems to have a more pronounced grain than the others do. I like the look of that, I like the feel of that. So um, we don't have anything printed on the front. On the spine we have uh, printed in gold. These are not stamped. These are printed. And we have Holy Bible, King James Version, Thomas Nelson with a, a few spine indicators. Perimeter stitched. Leather lined. Not sure what the leather is. They call it genuine leather, but I, I think it's better than just genuine leather. You could convince me that's, that's calfskin. I don't know that it is, but you can convince me of that. But let's see, we have um, the gilt line around the perimeter. Here's our edge line. Really soft. This is this is a nice leather. I like this. That is a really nice leather. It isn't too thin. It isn't too floppy. It is floppy. I'll show you in a little bit. It's very floppy, but it's not, it's not so floppy you can't hold it. 36 GSM paper. This is a very elegant filling paper. Nice and opaque. Now this this is a little stiff this morning, but that's because it's cold in here. And that's but it will stay open. No problem at all. 36 GSM. No glare under light. It's it's decently opaque. <clears throat> and then there is our text. So we have uh, chapter book introductions and then our double column with center column reference. Now this is a verse by verse layout. And we have red highlights. I love these red highlights. We have red for the book name, for the drop caps, for the chapter number, and for the chapter and verse numbers that indicate for your, your references and your footnotes. Now the book introduction, they're just a, a few paragraphs. They're kind of small, but there's a lot in here for how small they are. They, they give you the Greek meaning of a word of the, the book. They give you a short outline. Not all of them have all this, but really nice. It talks about the you know, key characters and that sort of thing. The typeface itself was designed by 2K Denmark for the comfort print. I love this typeface. This is beautiful. Uh, it has around five to six words per line, so it's not ideal reading, but it, it is really easy to read. It's really nice. has a nice leading. They call it a 12 point. To my eye, it looks more like the 11 point that you're going to find in a scholar. It's about that size. There's a lot going in, into the, the measurements and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> but in the text, we have the, the cross-reference and footnote keys. has a decent amount of cross-references. There are not a lot of them, but there are enough of them for study. Now, the footnotes are the Thomas Nelson footnotes. Now, these will they'll shed, in, uh, shed light on the words that have changed meaning. Uh, words that are no longer in use. So if, if you come across a word that doesn't make any sense at all, they'll probably have a number there, and then you, you can see what it what it is here. And the left column, the references are at the top of the center column. For the right column, they're at the bottom. So this leaves some empty space in the middle. Some pages are more empty than others. So that might give you some indications of, of uh, notes and that sort of thing. Little places for notes. But yeah, it's really nice. Across the top, we have our page summaries. And then we have the book name with chapter and verse out here. And those are also printed in red. And then across the bottom in the center, we have uh, the page number also printed in red. I was talking about how floppy and flimsy. Look at that. Not flimsy, but floppy. and That's just easy to handle. That's no problem at all. And then it'll... It'll flop on you there if you wanted to, if you like that sort of thing. 
three ribbons, uh, two black and one red. They're looking nice. Now these are not these are satin, but they're not like bear surge or anything. They're but they're good ribbons. They really are good ribbons. I love the look at that. No glare under direct light. Just a nice Bible. Stays open easy. I don't want to fight a Bible. I want it to stay open. Just stay open. Just stay there. And then you can see we have red under gold. There's the more of a copper look for the art gilt edges. And then it has a salmon look when we open it. Really nice. Black letter. And this, this print is consistent all the way through from start to finish. I, I don't see any um, variation in this print at all. Extremely consistent. And this paper is easy to turn to. I like to turn my pages like with one hand. I'll, I'll grab it and I'll separate it with my fingers. I don't know if it's a good thing, but that's what I do. But I don't have any issues with that, with this. And then in the back, book start on a new page, which is nice because you have a little bit of space here for notes if you want it. I think the paper is actually more opaque than it's showing on the camera. Then in the back, we have a couple of tables. We have the Miracles of Jesus, and it'll show the miracle and label them, and then give you the book with the chapter and verse and then parables of Jesus and then a one year reading plan now this gives you the date it gives you the, the month the date morning reading and evening reading so it breaks it up into two readings per day and then you have a reading from the New Testament and a reading from the Old Testament and this is all the way through and it, it, really nice and then the King James Concordance pretty neat concordance it doesn't have um, let's see let me make sure of this I don't think it has names. Like Aaron or something like that. But it does have a lot in it. Let's see. Let's see how many words we have here for, for God. If I'm remembering correctly, it's something like 54 entries for God. Which isn't bad. Isn't bad at all. So here's God. So about a third of that column. And then all the way to here, and Godhead, Godliness, Godly. So pretty decent amount of references. Three columns. Easy to see, easy to read. Everything in this is easy to see and read to me. Even these, these are larger than most Bibles. I find these easy to see and read. I don't even use my glasses to read this. And then in the far back, we have the Zondervan maps. I typically call them Thomas Nelson maps, but they're actually by Zondervan. Now these are on the thicker paper, but it, it is shiny. Um, I love these colors. These are beautiful colors. They're annotated well. So we have the world of the patriarchs. Exodus and conquest of Canaan. Now it's not showing a Red Sea crossing. I'd rather them not show it than to show it in the wrong place though. Uh, land of 12 tribes, but I would like to see a Red Sea crossing. This, And then Kingdom of David and Solomon. Jesus ministry. And you can see they're annotated and it will give scripture references. It will give dates. Uh, it's showing elevation. I like that. Distance, of course. Paul's missionary journeys with dates. Probable dates. And Jerusalem in the time of Jesus. I, these are beautiful colors. I love these. So seven maps on eight pages. And they'll show roads. And they'll show battle sites. That kind of thing. Pretty interesting. Battle sites. Now... It is shiny paper, but it's thick paper. And I prefer thick, non-shiny paper, but I prefer thick, shiny paper to having maps on Bible paper. So I, I, I like these. These are nice. That's a nice Bible. It's easy to hold, easy to carry. And of course, everyone is wondering how it compares to all these others. Well, I'm going to show you. First, let's start with this one. This is another from the Premier Collection. This is the New King James Thin Line. And I realize that we're comparing King James to New King James. But I wanted to show you something. Layout difference. And the font size difference. This is a larger font. And this is a, has more, more words per line. This is nice. It's elegant. Now this one has the uh, references and footnotes in the footer. This one, since they're in the center column, we have to share space. We have to share horizontal space. 
and that causes us to have a smaller uh, smaller column width. I find this better for reading than this. Um, this larger print is a little easier to preach from than this. This is a little bit more compacted and crowded. I, I, I like both. Both of them use the same red. And there, you can see the footprint is the same. Close to the same. Let's, let's see what our measurements are on this thing before I go any further. So we're looking at about 10. Right at 10. I'm rounding. To almost 7. We're like 6 and 3 quarter. 6 and 3 quarter. Now this is not a thin line. Not a thin line addition. Let's see what we got here. About 1 and... Almost one and a half, but not quite. It's actually thinner than that. But it's 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 about that. About ten by almost seven by one and a half. One and a little bit less than that. So what am I gonna compare it to next? This one is the Thomas Nelson giant print. But this one is is the same layout exactly. Exact same features and it has been upgraded. I like that Bible. That's a that's a cheap Bible. It's a really good cheap Bible. It's really good for its price. It's less than like twenty dollars, something like that. But the what I like about that is you can have the exact same Bible twice. So let's see. Let's turn to seven forty five. Let's turn to six twelve so we can see the see that there. You can have two versions of the same Bible. One that you use for anything and the one that you that you're more careful with if, if that's what you wanted this one has upgraded paper it has upgraded cover everything about this is upgraded this is a lot cheaper materials but it is the same pagination it's the same layout so that, that's really nice i like that they did that i reviewed this one earlier and, and, and i like i liked the bible but i wanted you know better everything and that's exactly what they got this is better everything so they did it they upgraded it what else can I compare it to let's see let's just see this is the long primer now this one is highland goat skin this is a thicker leather you know I say that but it's not really I think this leather is thicker than this leather now that I think about it this is a thicker leather than this this has a more pronounced green, but this has a pronounced green. Oh, they both look, they actually both look and feel about the same, to be honest. They really do. So this one is the long primer. This is the, the, um, the BR, the 52, 53, I think it's 53 BR. I'm getting my numbers mixed. Now this one is a, a 10 point font and you can see this is a larger print. This one has, uh, italics for supplied words but it doesn't have any um, self-pronunciation marks or anything like that this one we do have self-pronunciation marks but this one does not have italics and as you can see this has a smaller center column uh, for your references and these are harder to see I, I can see these easy I don't have any issue seeing these if large print is your goal th this is a good choice this one is 32 GSM paper and it, you can tell it is more opaque than this but it should be really it's a higher grade and it's also more expensive the uh, the price reflects that you know you, you do get what you pay for in, in in every case here you get what you pay for what else can we compare to here is the Cambridge turquoise also in goat skin this goat skin is this goat skin is thicker than this one but I won't say it's more elegant it, it may be a little bit more, but not much, not much. This is a, it, this has a more pronounced grain, which I love. I love pronounced grain. I'll take a pronounced grain over a smooth grain every time. So this is a little bit more pronounced grain than this one is, but they're, they're so close. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to compare. Um, of course, now this one is a little bit more elegant with, with his razor ribs. It's just a little extra that you pay for, but you know the price does reflect it, and this does have a more expensive paper. But it's 
it's also twice the price of this one. So like I say, the price does reflect the quality. Now this is a premium edition, every every bit of it. But you can you can tell the font is maybe a little darker in this one and possibly about the same size. I don't know. This could even be a little bit larger. Just to my eye right here. Right here, right now. But 32. Let's see, 28 GSM compared to 36 GSM. I find this one, I find this one a little easier to turn pages using my using my, my rub the pages method. Whereas this one, they want to stick a little bit more. And I also, I kind of, this is more coded. I kind of want to uh, baby this one a little bit more, but that, that's just me. And let's see. We have a Scholar. Now, the this one is in the same price range. Or close to it. Similar. Similar pr price range. This is also 36 GSM. This is the Canterbury. This one is a calfskin leather with paste down liner. I love this green. This is my favorite green on any scholar I've ever seen. Is this one right here. Now this is a thicker bowel. And here is our layout with paper. This paper has a little bit more of an ivory color. This one is more of a white color. And the print is very similar. It really is. Really similar. This one has single column for Psalms, whereas this one does not. I do like the Psalms. And then, of course, this has the decorative drop caps. Looks really elegant. They both do. They both look elegant. I love all these little red. It just makes everything stand out. Now, I see an advantage with this one by placing the references and the footnotes in the footer. We don't have to share space, and we get more words per line. It's more comfortable for reading, in my opinion, than than having to share space. This is good for reading, though. I mean, it's it's not it's not a bad one for reading. They both do look good, though. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at the Westminster. This is the Westminster from Schuyler, so it's going to have the upgraded leather. Which feels about the same. I don't know. This might be thicker than this one. Just barely. Just barely. It's, it's, I'm splitting hairs. It's so close. It's hard to really tell much difference. Of course, this also is in a higher price range than this one. And, you know, you can tell the difference in the font. This is a lot easier to read for me. If I'm preaching from it specifically, I want to preach from a larger font if I can. I also like a darker font. And this has the darker font. I do love this font, though. I can't wait to get this one in large print. It is coming. They are making it. Just for me. Just because they're awesome. I also wanted to compare to the Concord. It's a lot smaller Bible, but I wanted to show that. So that you get an idea of the size differences that we're talking about here. It's a pretty close to the same thickness, but a little bit smaller footprint. The leather is about the same. This is actually a little bit harder feeling than this one is. This is just a touch softer. Of course, this is a synthetic liner. I, I do prefer the leather liner. Because I don't really know how long the synthetic would last. This one has 32 GSM paper. And... Here is how they compare. Just to get an idea. Both are about the same darkness, which I do like. Um, but, you know, this pretty nice text. Both of them look really good. But this one, of course, being larger, is a little bit easier to read and see. The paper feels about the same. Except for thicker. This is definitely thicker. No, no doubt about that. But they, they, both, they both look nice. Now, I want to compare to this one, simply because I want to compare prices. This is the church publisher's version of the turquoise. And you can see the difference in thickness there. I didn't compare thickness to some of the others. But this one is a calfskin liner. I mean leather. Calfskin leather. Ironed calfskin. And we're looking at not much more money for this one. The, this this one is around 70 and this was around 100 it depends on where you buy them etc 
but this one does have the raised ribs. This one does not. This one has around 33 GSM paper. And then this one has the 36 GSM paper. They both use the, the same construction design as far as edge lined, which is why I'm comparing them for their prices. They're close price range, similar. Um, this one is more elegant than this one. And I, you know, I keep getting the question, do you, would you consider this a semi-premium? I consider this one a sem semi-premium because of the materials. is a little bit lower grade than the others we've already looked at. The leather, the paper, it's a little bit lower grade. The construction is the, the same kind of construction, but it's handmade and it's not quite to the same level as the construction of the others we've looked at. I consider this one a semi-premium. I consider this one a premium, not a semi-premium. This one has a higher quality paper than this one, higher quality leather than this one, and a better quality construction. And even though this one is made in China, it doesn't feel like it's made in China. I don't pick this Bible up and say, oh look, that's made in China. I don't think that at all. And that doesn't even come into play. This, this looks and feels like a premium Bible. And you can see this one is a darker font, but it's also harsher. This one's easier on the eye. And this paper will get glare under drag light where this one does not. But just to give you an idea of what they look like. I, I do find these center references easier to see than this one. But just comparing something in the same similar price range. And you'll see, like you can see here, if it's sitting on top of something, this leather is soft. And it will get an imprint of what it was sitting on. And it will stay there for a few days. You don't get that with this one. It's just a nice Bible. I like this Bible a lot. I recommend this Bible. It's hard not to recommend this Bible. This is a good one. Now what I'd like them to, to do. They only have one King James in the Premier, Premier Collection. Where, while the others... The New King James and the NIV, they've made a center column, double columns, center column reference, or a footer reference. Um, not center column, but a footer reference, or no references at all for the NIV. They, they do the double column thin line, and they do the, the uh, single column. What I'd like them to do is to make a center, single column King James with this layout. But I want to see... A couple of changes. Rather than have the footnote and reference keys in red, I'd like to see the verse numbers in red. One of the complaints that I hear about making a King James in single column is that verses are too hard to find. Well, if the verses are in red, they'll be a little bit easier to find. They'll help that. And you can look at this. There's no poetry that looks better than a single column. That That's just that's gorgeous. And this is more readable. Now, I know people are going to complain and, and, and not agree with me here, but if you think about this, we have verse numbers that, or ver verses that start where they should that are together. What I mean by that, if you look at something like Colossians 1, um, 21, 22, that's one sentence. But in the King James, it's on two different lines. And the second line, the second verse, is printed with a capital letter as if it were a separate thought, but it's not. It's, it's the same sentence. So I, I just think that something like this would be more readable for a King James. The King James is made difficult to read by its presentation a lot of times. And I like this one. I like this one a lot. So if they would produce this just for me, I don't care if anybody else gets one. Just produce it just for me. Make me a King James with this layout. And then make the verse numbers in red instead of the referencing and the footnote keys. That would be awesome. So if you guys could get on that, I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. But Just kidding. But still, just my thoughts on that. Still, this is an amazing Bible for a verse by verse. I love this Bible. I highly recommend this Bible. You can see more detail and more information about this on BibleBuyingGuide.com where I'll go through more of these references and more of the concordance and more of the little details and things. And if you have any questions, just, just paste them down at the bottom and I will try my best to answer. Now, I did receive this in exchange for an honest review, and that's what I gave you. I tell you what I like and what I don't like. 
So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.